Hello, and welcome to my first ever software video. I have never done this before, but I am using a software called Open Broadcast to record this. It was really hard to set up, for me at any rate, but I figured it out. And uh, it will let me record as long as I want, or have hard drive space, and it will... It does video games too, by the way, if you're, if you're interested in free video game recording software and broadcasting software. It's pretty good, actually, once you set it up. Now, this is the trial version. And what that means is, I've set character up over and over again, and every time the computer crashes, which for the past couple of days has been often enough, or every time the software crashes, and being a trial version it does, I have to re-import everything, because I can't save. And I have to reset it up, and I have to build the bones, layer everything, do all this that you're supposed to do. And so, I am recording this video without the character finished yet, just in case it crashes. Again. And then I go for a walk, come back, start over again. So, here's the character skinned onto the bones. I set up the bones and uh, after I imported this from Photoshop uh, through their this system over here because you're not allowed to import or export really uh, because it's trial version. So I found a way to import my own assets through their examples folder. So just to let you know you can do that. And uh, when I set up the skeleton, it as you can see is not weighted in any way. Um, I can break, crack the character. So the character, which has a rigid skin, normally, does that. Now, what you can do, which I find astonishing, and is something that I used to do in, fo in um, Soft Image back in the day, is you would set up a skeleton, set it up with inverse kinematics, and you can add weights and points to uh, skin and this is really kind of mind-blowing so as you can see I have here um, these weights I'll click on this to show you these weights here are weighted to this bone so they don't move which will also match the torso which will be weighted to this bone and this here is weighted to this bone and then this here is weighted to this bone so you can see by the color and then of course this part here is weighted to this bone based, based on the color you can see where the weights are that is awesome. That is really quite awesome. And so you got like some pretty good movement going on and you can have uh, some nice 3D effect on a 2D drawing which really blows my mind and makes me very happy because I love drawing and I've always wanted to have my drawings come to life in a 3D sort of way and if you look some, at some of the really sophisticated videos out there they've got some really good stuff going on with the software. And what I like about it too is if you set up your, your points properly uh, which I'm trying to figure out uh, you can do things like have the skin move, but not have solid objects move. So that gemstone is fairly solid. It doesn't stretch much, but then it stretches, and stretches quite a bit. Um, so, and this is a very low resolution import right now. Um, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this because it's very low res. But yeah, and you can really share your drawing if you want. Um, but you know, like I'm. I'm just really kind of amazed at it. And you can see the bicep holding a little bit when the character stretches his arm. It rolls ever so slightly in 3D, or fake 3D. Um, so yeah, and anyways, uh, I just wish the documentation on the better. But uh, this is actually a very powerful program. I'm very impressed with it. And I'm hoping to do more. I'm hoping to get this to be a properly animated character, but I have to leave my computer on all the... I can't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> so, anywho, um, yeah, so thank you for checking out the video. Um, I'm quite impressed with the software, and that's as far as I've gotten with it so far. This has been, it crashed yesterday, the computer, halfway through the day. So since yesterday, late afternoon, I got this back up and running, and now it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon now. So, uh, yeah, maybe 2 o'clock, actually, closer to 2. And I got this all set up and re-imported and re-skinned since yesterday. Um, so I'm very pleased with the speed that's happening now. It's, it's actually a very quick process then, once you figure out what you're doing. So, very happy. Very impressive. Anyways, thank you for checking out this video.